when we met, we knew that we wanted to have children. Um, that was 10 years ago now. Um, and we, we kind of thought that it would just naturally happen, um, but it didn't. We conceived um, about a year after trying. Um, but unfortunately, about seven weeks in, that ended in a miscarriage. I was devastated. Um, even though it was only just a few weeks, I'd imagined a future with that child. Um, I thought we were going to become parents. The first thing we, we thought was a reasonable try was, was IUI. We had IUI a few times and that didn't, that didn't amount to anything. However, we did decide to turn it into an IVF cycle and we waited. We had a, a pregnancy test and it was, it was positive. So we were, we were very excited that it worked. Before the whole procedure, Rachel read around the subject quite thoroughly, so she knew the statistics. Being a maths teacher, she wanted to know the numbers. The clinic that I was at um, emailed me my results and I saw the numbers and it had fallen and I knew that this, this wasn't working and, um, and that, was, that was the end of that, that, you know, that pregnancy. That was the end of that one. I wasn't even sure if I wanted to try again. I was thinking about the whole process and you know it not being natural as such and whether it was meant to be but I think my sister, my mum, you, they were just saying you know how often do things work first time maybe maybe you should give it another go. I was able to start treatment um, the day after my appointment. We had to wait that long two weeks to find out if you're pregnant. I caved in and had to do a home pregnancy test because I just had to know. Rachel used to get these pregnancy tests throughout you know, previous attempts and we'd be stood at the window looking at this thing going, maybe if I squint and I close one eye I can see the line. This one just popped up, it was just there, it was bold, it was blue, it was in your face, it was, it was definitely a positive and 10 pregnancy tests later it was still there and um, I left it on the side for Lee just by the kettle just didn't say anything. I went to make a cup of tea and by the kettle was this stick and it was like that's a line that's it, it definitely a, a line. line. Having had the two disappointments that we did have um, I didn't want to spend the whole of my pregnancy worried about problems abnormalities I did I didn't I didn't want that we wanted to make sure everything was okay. I discovered that there was this test that you could have that wasn't as invasive as an amniocentesis. You could have it earlier, you could have it from 10 weeks. I decided that I would, I would seek out this test. A week later, um, we, we got the results and fortunately everything was okay. I think having that, the NIPT test, having that peace of mind made things more relaxing. We just went through and uh, took pictures every week of my increasing bump <laughs> and enjoyed that process. We do know that obviously the, the less stressed you are during that pregnancy, the better it is for the baby. Having had that test, it certainly gave me a, a huge peace of mind for me to enjoy that process of being pregnant. I wasn't advised by a doctor to have an amio following that test um, or a, um, any other testing. I didn't feel the need to do that. I felt that the NIPT was enough um, and subsequent scans were, were fine, that there was no need to, to do anything more invasive or stressful. Having a blood test that can give you that reassurance is, is, is much preferable over having to have a procedure that, that carries an element of risk to the, to the growing fetus. It's been uh, nearly a year since Alexa was born and we are, we, well, we're not just a couple anymore, we're a family. Her smile is something that her personality just beams out of. I think Rachel and I are also contemplating the idea of, of trying again. Um, we're not sure yet, but if we do, it's 100% certain we would take the test again. Absolutely, we definitely do it again. The whole journey of the IVF the second time that resulted in Alexa is, is just the most wonderful, the most wonderful ending to this, this particular story, this particular journey.